the second station of the cross, Jesus, betrayed by Judas, is arrested. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Immediately, while Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived. And with him there was a crowd with swords and clubs, from the chief priests, the scribes and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. So when he came, he went up to him at once and said, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then they laid hands on him and arrested him. Here we feel the devastation that betrayal brings. As the crowd draws close to Jesus, how many of those eyes in the crowd had witnessed the healing and forgiveness that Jesus brought to so many? How many ears had listened to his parables and teaching? Here we also contemplate the hatred of those who had been planning to destroy Jesus because he failed to say the things they wanted to hear. He refused to condone the way they lived their lives and the human rules and traditions they hid behind. But worst of all, Judas, a friend and follower, steps forward and kisses Jesus. He uses the sign of love and peace to betray. And so we pray here for all who feel they have been betrayed and let down by those they love and those they feel close to. For all who feel their love, support and compassion has been rejected. Lord Jesus, you were betrayed by the kiss of a friend. Be with those who are betrayed and slandered and falsely accused. You knew the experience of having your love thrown back in your face for mere silver. Be with families which are torn apart by mistrust or temptation. To you, Jesus, who offered your face to your betrayer, be honour and glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. <laughs>